What is up, Squash Force? Welcome back to a new episode. Today, we're going to be talking about how to calm down the game. Squash is such a fast sport. It's one of the fastest sports out there. Uh, it takes a lot for your brain to comprehend the fast ball going everywhere quickly. So most of the time, we get into this rush and we just end up hitting the ball, running back, running to the next ball, just hitting it. So if we are able to calm our nerves down or calm ourselves down and just be more relaxed, instead of the game being so fast paced and hectic, you can actually start thinking more clearly, thinking about where you play your shots, being more relaxed back to the tee. So this in return will make you move less, will make you play better shots. So yeah, right now I'm going to be giving you guys three tips uh, to just be able to calm down the game of squash, slow it down, and yeah, be able to handle this fast pace. All right, let's get right into the video, guys. But first, please, if you're new to the channel, like and subscribe to my channel. A lot of you guys come back, watch my videos, but are not subscribed yet. If you're one of those guys, please help me out. Click that subscribe button, like this video, and I really hope this video helps you guys. If it does, let me know in the comments. So without further ado, Let's do it, guys. All right, guys, tip number one. This one is a really important one. This is when we are on the tee and we're watching our opponent. What tends to happen is that we start stepping too early before they've either hit the shot or before we know where the ball is going. Us taking that step before we actually know where the ball is going is so much extra work. And I guarantee you almost all of you guys do this. So basically, Rather than stepping, then seeing where the ball goes and having to correct your movement, which takes energy, efficiency, time. This is what actually what makes people have to rush so much. What we want to be doing is stay put until the opponent has hit that shot, analyze where it's going, and then step to the ball. If you just try to pause your movement on the tee for just a little bit, just wait a little bit, after your opponent has played that shot and then take the best possible route because you already know where the ball is going. Efficiency wise guys, this will have a massive difference in your game. And yeah, not only will you be able to just be more calm and go to the ball, you're going to be seeing more volleys, your shots are going to be better and your posture will be better because you're just seeing and anticipating the game a lot better, which is a huge aspect of squash, right? Tip number two is that we always want to be facing kind of directly forward, preferably with somewhat wide stance. But we want to be facing forward, and when the ball goes go to the side, we come and move out a bit, and as soon as we come back to the tee, both feet facing forward again. The reason we do this is because this is just so much easier to, to then anticipate the balls. If it's going forehand, you're right here. If it's going cross court, you're right here. It's a very neutral zone to be in, uh, I sometimes see club players doing this where they hit the ball into a corner and then they're waiting for it like this or like this. Uh, this is okay if you're playing a drive, but if your opponent plays a cross court from this section, you have to turn all the way around and go there. And now I'm turned again and then you just kind of get into this visual cycle of not being in a good position, right? So always being stable and then kind of just directing your body maybe towards the side wall and back to the middle. So what's never happening is that we're doing this, right? Always forward or to the side wall, forward, side wall, forward, right? Never want to be overturning or facing to the wrong side when the opponent is hitting the ball, okay? It's tip number two. Now, let's get into tip number three. All right, so tip one and two, both kind of talk about anticipation. Firstly, waiting a little bit longer, seeing the ball. Secondly, being straight to constantly have that vision of the court. These are both just things you do to just see the ball better, not have to rush all over the court, see it late, correct your position. This is what makes the game so hectic and hard. So if we can watch the ball, move to it calmly, hit it back and see the ball, we're gonna be a lot calmer in our approach to the game. Now our third tip, not so much anticipation, uh, we're going to call this one steadying the ship, okay? So the third one is all about maintaining a good posture. If we can go 
maintain a good steady posture, come back to the tee, we're stable and ready to go for the next ball. <coughs> Bless me, sorry. Yes, back to the tip. So, steadying the ship, guys, okay? If we are playing a shot and we're getting out of the position too early and rushing back, we're gonna be off balance, go to the next ball, be off balance, go to the next ball, right? So make sure you put an extra bit of focus into your shots. Go, play, stay there for a quick second, come out and be solid, right? Go. This feels so much better and I'm so much more ready for the next ball. Whereas sometimes what happens, you go and play the ball and you just wanna go back and rush, which is good. You wanna come back to the tee quickly, but if you're losing a good posture, and you're not playing the ball from a strong standpoint, then yeah, you're gonna be off balance, you're gonna be rushing around the court, which is not what we want. We wanna be calm, collected, relaxed, uh, we wanna be strong, and yeah. It's, uh, it's a great way, it's a fun way to play squash, because like this, we can control our opponent, we're the ones relaxed, our opponent's the one rushing around the court, right? All right, Squash Force, that's it for today. These are three massive tips. Uh, they're all pretty difficult to work on. I think if you take one of these per lesson, it's gonna help you a lot. So today in practice, I'm gonna be working on staying longer on the tee. Don't work on everything at once. Choose one point, work on that, figure it out, then work on the next point. This is how we get better at Squash, guys. Okay, these tips will help you become more calm and squash, see the ball better, and be more solid, right? Which makes the game, I'm not gonna lie, it makes the game a lot more fun, guys, and just, this is what pushes your level up, just being calmer, being more relaxed, and having everything under control. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please give these tips a go, let me know how it is, and yeah, until next time, Squash First out.